everyone, today I'm going to be doing a video on how to deal with your damaged or dry hair and how I keep mine in such good condition. I've gone from black to blonde so many times it's unreal. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right in and tell you guys what I do to keep my hair healthy. The first thing and the easiest thing you can do is just put no heat on your hair. So what I do is I shower at night and just let my hair air dry. Um, and I comb through it and everything first, of course, because you don't want tangles in it. So you're just going to want to probably shower at nighttime and then just let your hair air dry. Mine is normally straight. Sometimes it gets a little wavy if I put it up in a ponytail, but I just let it be or else you can style it without heat. You can put it back in a ponytail. You can do braids. All kinds of stuff to avoid the heat. Next step might be a little bit harder for you. It just depends on how you handle your greasy hair. Um, it's to cut back on washing your hair. So when you wash your hair, it strips all the natural oils and it's not doing anything good if you keep washing it every day. So I probably wash my hair two to three times a week. Um, a good product to use is dry shampoo and I will show you one of my favorite ones right now. So my favorite one to use is the Batiste Dry Shampoo. This one is amazing and it's an affordable price. So this you just spray in at the roots and then kind of massage it in there and then just comb through your hair like normal. That's what I do and you are ready to go. The third step I have for you guys is to wear a hair mask once a week after you shampoo and condition your hair. You leave it on your hair for a little bit and then you'll wash it out. Other than using a hair mask, you can shampoo and condition your hair and once you get out, spray and leave in conditioner and then comb through your hair. Another thing that I use on my hair for the ends is this Moroccan oil treatment. So I'll put maybe about a pea size amount of my hands, rub it in on my fingertips and start on the end of my hair and just work my way up. Then I'll run the brush through to make sure that product is distributed evenly, but you want to focus it on the ends. Now this is going to help nourish those ends as well. This is a great product. I know that some people don't like this product because they feel like it weighs down their hair, but if you don't put too much in your hair, it will not feel like that. My hair is find medium and I just put that little bit on there and work it up and it does not feel heavy on my hair at all. So it just kind of depends on how you're applying it in your hair. Another big thing that you need to know is use salon professional products. So your shampoo, conditioner, and all the other products that you are using in your hair. I'm just going to stop the video right there because I'm going to go in and tell you guys what I meant by only using salon professional products. I'm mainly focusing on shampoos and conditioners just because that is a foundation of your hair and some of those drugstore ones do leave residues or wax type films on your hair afterwards. And what those films are doing is they're just coating your hair. They're not actually helping your hair. I can definitely make a video for you guys on why you shouldn't use drugstore hair products. Yeah, the best thing you can do is stay away from drugstore. The salon product is going to get you the best results. Another thing, in addition to a hair mask, is a coconut oil treatment. So what you can do with this coconut oil treatment is you can put it on your head all over. You're going to want to massage it in and then put a cap, a shower cap on your head and then you want to go to sleep and then the next morning you're going to want to wake up and shower. I know this is contradicting the last thing I said when I said to shower at night, but you can definitely shower during the day and let your hair air dry too. There's not a problem with that, but you're going to want to do this coconut oil mask maybe two times a month and the coconut oil is really nourishing for your hair. So what you're going to do is the night before I need to take a shower, you're going to put that coconut oil in your hair, massage it, put the cap on, all that, go to sleep, wake up the next morning and shower and rinse it out. This is going to help nourish your hair. The next thing, this is probably a big thing that I probably should have mentioned earlier, give your hair a break. Do not keep coloring it. You're going to want to let your roots grow. So the easiest thing to do is maybe you want that blonde, you want that platinum blonde, but the best thing for you to do is give your hair a break. Um, for example, mine, I have a balayage in here, so I'm leaving my natural root grow and yeah. You can kind of see my balayage. I have blonde and it kind of brings up into that color. So, I mean, I would probably suggest an ombre or balayage to kind of let your hair breathe. Or, let's say you already have that blonde all over your hair. Just let it breathe. Let your roots grow. Just give it a break. The last thing I have for you guys is make sure you are cutting your hair. I know you want your hair to grow, but it's not going to grow if those split ends keep splitting up. 
So it is recommended to get your hair cut every six to eight weeks. But for me personally, I get mine cut every three to five months. So I'm pushing it maybe by an extra month or two. And I usually get an inch off. And that's going to prevent my split ends from splitting up even more. Because if you don't cut your hair, they're just going to keep splitting up more and more and more. But those are all the steps I have for this video for you to deal with your dry, damaged hair. I just want to go ahead and thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I'm going to link the other video here. I'm so grateful for you guys getting me to 20,000 views. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. It's amazing. I made this video two years ago. It's honestly the most embarrassing video because I made it so long ago and I was just so young and it's got so many views it's just insane I'm gonna link it up here for you guys if you want to look at it if you haven't seen it before also make sure you subscribe and thumbs up this video comment below for videos that you want to see or that you think I should do go ahead and do that I also have been thinking about doing some giveaways so make sure make sure you are subscribed to my channel because I really want to do some giveaways so yeah I will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching this one